Okay, uh, so this is the third experiment for thermodynamics, uh, thermal fluid slab MEC two nine four, which title determination of uh, jet velocity and nozzle efficiency. So uh, now we are going to consider and how to want want to conduct this experiment. Okay, number one, uh, close the air inlet control valve and open the chamber pressure control valve. So uh, this is the air inlet control valve and make sure it is closed on this position okay and then uh, at the same time we need to check at the chamber pressure control valve here and make it open by put it on the counter clockwise and uh, open it fully so by doing this basically we will route the air from the inlet pressure into the outlet pressure and the chamber pressure now is 0 kilopascal ok right number 2 unscrew the null nut at the top right hand of the chamber withdraw the nozzle mounting sleeve and assemble nozzle number 1 into the unit so basically we uh, disassemble this nut and then release the lock mechanism here and uh, put out the previous nozzle and then check the nozzle number one here and then uh, lock it okay by pressing it downward put it back at the place but make sure uh, there is a seal to prevent the gas from leaking here and put it here also okay before we install into it please so after this, we screw back and lock and make sure it is grip. Okay, so now we are preparing to run the experiment with using the nozzle number one. So the next step, with the chamber pressure control valve fully open, just like this, adjust the inlet control valve to give a constant air inlet pressure of 600 kPa gauge. So basically, at the back here, uh, we can adjust the pressure by uh, adjusting the control valve here and then set it to be 600 kPa so the unit here is uh, megapascal so 600 kPa is equal to 0 0.6 megapascal so adjusting here okay and then make sure the pressure inlet here will be constant so that the 600 kPa will move here and then go to the inlet of the nozzle number one okay after that the air will go into the chamber and then release to the atmosphere ok the next step is to record the pressure temperature mass flow rate 3 items and then record it at the tables so the pressure is given at the back here just now P1 and then this is a P2 at the chamber pressure this is the T1 inlet temperature and also T2 outlet temperature while here will give the value of the volume flow rate the next thing is increase the chamber pressure to about 100 kPa in order to do that we need to uh, put or uh, rotate the uh, valve here and then uh, reading the pressure chamber here to be 100 kPa ok so the pressure later on will be increased into 100 kPa Okay, so the next thing is to record again the temperature T1, T2, P1 600 kPa and also P2 here which is 100 kPa and then look at the volume flow rate here repeat the whole test uh, sorry the next thing is to making sure that the inlet pressure remain constant and repeat the test at other chamber pressure with an increment of 600 kPa so we will adjust the volume flow rate here and also adjust the pressure chamber here 100 and then increase into 200 300 400 500 and the max is 600 kPa okay so after that after complete all of this uh, we need to close the inlet pressure at the back here okay uh, close and then uh, we can adjust the nozzle by release the knob again 
learner nut okay and then uh, uh, open it and then put the uh, the next nozzle number two okay and then repeat the same procedure to get the value of uh, the readings as in the tables so that's all for our uh, experiments for nozzle efficiency